This is the Queen of Sydney. It was the very first ferry built for BC ferries and was also the first time a BC flag was ever flown. The Queen of Sydney had a passenger capacity of 989 and a length of 102.49 meters. It serviced mainland Vancouver and the islands between the 1960s before retiring in the 2000s. It was then sold to a private owner in 2002 and has unfortunately sat in derelict condition on the Fraser River since. Now there are many reasons why this 3D model of the ship could be useful. The first being historical preservation. By creating a 3D model, we can preserve the current state of the ship for the future. The second reason could be virtual exploration. To give a virtual tour of the ship, and help reduce the trespassing on private property. The third reason could be environmental studies. By creating a 3D model of the ship in its current condition, scientists can monitor the decay and deterioration over time. To create this model, first we did a rough model of the ship by making a flight plan in Flight Hub 2. This gave us a reference point for creating the flight route around the model to make it more accurate. Then we used a geometric flight route to plan around the 3D model. The automated mission took about 40 minutes to capture over 2,900 photos. Then we threw the data into a 3D modeling processing software of your choice. In our case, we use Reality Capture. The process data in Reality Capture featured over 103 million triangles, providing a very high quality model and took about three hours to process. Some of the key challenges that we faced while capturing the model were a signal. As we were flying near the ship, we were having some issues with the signal quality and we're not sure if that had something to do with the metal properties of the ship, but it did impact our ability to get closer to the ship to get some of the detailed shots. The other challenge that we had was the crane that was in front of the ship that had some wires running across. Luckily, we had a 3D model that we created roughly in order to reference and fly around that. The last challenge we had was with the altitude of the aircraft relative to the water. Because we were flying over tidal waters, we had to adjust the altitude of the aircraft as at some points it was getting quite low to the water and we were worried that we'd lose the drone. So overall, we we're very happy with the results of the 3D model and we're very impressed with the capabilities of the Mavic 3 Enterprise. <music>